Hello, welcome to Just Learn Civil. This tutorial is about offline free software which converts latitude longitude to UTM and vice versa. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and please press the bell icon for notification. Section 1 Introduction and Features of Software. This is the continuation of the previous software named latitude longitude to xy converter these are the screenshots of the current versions and the previous versions features of the software it converts latitude longitude to utm utm to latitude longitude exports the latitude longitude to kml to excel file and allows the user to choose their local datum ellipsoid or wgs 1984 you can also drag and drop the input file to the table to import it. It only takes txt file as input and the license is GPL GNU version 3.0. Both versions are free and open source. Now comparison of the previous versions and the current versions. Both versions converts latitude longitude to UTM. The current versions only converts UTM to lat long. The previous versions could not. Both exports to Excel. Current versions only exports to KML and using the current versions only you can load the saved datum in the text file. In the previous versions you cannot save the datum in the text file and load it. You will have to input manually. But here you have been facilitated to input the text file. Section 2 Layout of the software. At the top there is menu then the loaded datum will appear here. And this is a table where we will input the latitude longitude and get the output easting nothing or vice versa. And the status bar shows what setting we have chosen. Like mode says convert lat long to easting nothing or that is UTM. Then you can input in the ellipsoid. You can either input June or you can either input CM. Whatever you input will appear here and the program will read that data. While loading data from the text file, if you have chosen June, then June will be the input and this will be self calculated and vice versa. And similarly, in the setting, you can either manually enter the data by generating rows and columns or you can copy paste or you can simply import the data, whatever mode you select. Now all the projection files must be located in this ellipsoid folder and they must have extension either .proj or .txt and both has the same format ellipsoid projection and all are tab delimited. This data you can enter zone instead of zone you can input central meridian SCM also. So measure axis 1 by f, k0, m0, phi0 in decimal degree and false easting in meter whatever files are in this ellipsoid of .proj and .txt extension will appear in the drop down you can select anyone as per your location and then load it here you can through drop down you will select the ellipsoid data then click on the file load ellipsoid parameter and it will be loaded here from the ellipsoid folder now these are the file menu what they does is as the name suggests now you can see you can import either latitude longitude or utm data uh, it depends what you want to convert if you want to convert latitude longitude to utm then you need to import latitude longitude and they are all tab delimited You can drag and drop also to input in the table. We will see while using the software. Then you can export it to KML or Excel file. Now let's see the setting menu. In the setting menu, you will see three mode, then choose a zone or CM and import or generate rows. Let's see mode. In the mode, you can choose 
lat long to utm that is east north or east north to latitude longitude whatever you have chosen will appear here then you can choose choose zone or central meridian whatever you write here if you choose zone then the software will read this data as zone if you choose cm then software will read this as cm and automatically calculate the zone now you can see here inter number of rows to inter number of rows you input here number of rows and the now that number of rows will be generated and you need to input manually the data or you can copy and paste the data if you don't want to import the data from the text file so first you have to set the setting then datum then input calculate and finally export in the setting choose the required setting then choose the required projection file after preparing it according to your location then input you can input in three ways either you can import the txt file or you can drag up that txt file or you can generate rows and copy paste the data or you can manually input the data then you need to calculate it either lat long to east north or east north to lat long as for the setting we have chosen then export it to kml and excel file kml file can be opened in google earth now section 3 we will use this software and we will use this all three input how to use this input import file text file drag and drop that text file and manually input by generating rows Now after you download the software, you will get a zip file. When you extract this zip file, you will get this folder. Go to this folder. In the bin, there will be debug. Inside the debug, you will see here application. This is the executable file. And this is the software we will be using. You can see here ellipsoid. You cannot rename this folder or move this folder you can input this file here you can put as many file as you want copy paste now you can put the zone name here or instead of this you can put the cm value as well that is central meridian value as well now since this zone name 44 you can put this 43 as well according to your data now we have 44 data so we will be using this data whatever file is present in this folder everything with extension .txt file or .proz file will appear in this file but for that you have to reload this file since we we'll open this software before creating this file it will not be shown here so we have to open it again now you can see this file as well now since we have this 81 data here or you can also put .proz or .txt both are same anything now after choosing the file go to file load ellipsoid data and you will have your ellipsoid data loaded here you can see here all the data has been read now you can also use the cm81 for that here we have the setting of zone or cm we have selected zone so it will read this data as the zone now you can make this data read as cm as well now put here 81 you can put any name here 
save it then go to file and click on load we have already selected this then we have changed this data so we will choose this data and click on load we need to change this mode here cm now you can see when you load this data this becomes the red color red color means the input color and you will get the same result this text boxes are self calculated now after loading the required parameters you can input the file here you can import the file i have already prepared this data now since my mode is to convert from lat long to east north so i will input lat long you can also see here lat long this is the data i have prepared sn latitude longitude these are tab delimited also easting northing or utm data you can also prepare in the same manner now i have latitude longitude now i need to convert it to east north since my setting is mode to convert from latitude longitude to east north i will get here calculate latitude longitude to east north when i click this i will get the result now you can click here about if you learn need to learn something about the software like the software info how to use or setting menu and also there is formula to convert zone to central meridian and central meridian to zone there are 60 zones in utm each with a 6 degree longitude width and when you multiply this 60 into 6 you get 360 degree edit means to copy and paste you can simply choose the data here copy or you can paste this data as well from somewhere else like excel file now you can export it to excel file whole data or whole table will be exported to excel file you can see here the table has been exported to excel file export completed now you can export it to KML as well now I will you can rename it and save it as you will get only one option KML here if you have Google Earth installed in your computer you can see this KML data by opening it in Google Earth Now in the setting we saw what this zone and CM does. Now we can also see what this import mode and the generate mode does. The import mode means we have to import the file. This is enabled. Now when you select the generate mode, this will be activated and this will be disabled. Now you cannot import the file. Instead you need to import how many data you want to enter. Suppose I want to enter two data, then two rows will be generated. You can also change the mode here latitude longitude east and north thing now suppose i have to input this two data i can copy it and paste it here or you can enter data 27.446 anything as you wish and then click on convert and it will convert it to here you can also do it with Easting northing to lat long and again do this three number two. How many data you have? You can convert one data as well. 
now this is how you can manually convert one to or as many data as you want now let's see the another mode lat long to we have already seen lat long to is not now let's see is not to lat long for that we have to import the data choose this import mode and you can see here it is disabled now you cannot edit it now import the data from we have already prepared the east north data and your data is imported also you can drag and drop suppose i will now clear it i have this data prepared now i will drag it and drop it in this gray area and our data is imported now go to file now you can see here previously it was lat long to east north now since our mode is east north to lat long it will also be east north to lat long now click it and you will have this data you can also export it to excel file to kml file and so on in this way you can convert as many data as you want or by manual or by preparing it in excel uh, text file it only takes the input as the text file and these are the three settings which you need to manage as per your need you can also see here zone put here 43 go to the mode then changes to zone now you can when you put 43 you will get the central meridian of that zone if you don't know what zone or what central meridian your zone is in then you can put here data and it will calculate it or you can calculate yourself from the formula zone is equals to central meridian plus 180 plus 3 is divided by 6 and reverse this formula to get the central meridian